Next guest is Fred Amoroso, CEO of Rovi, a company that helps you sort through all the different kinds of offerings in TV and online and elsewhere. Uh, Fred, as I try to explain your company to other people, I say, they basically got a patent on the rectangle. If you see the rectangle floating by on your TV, they own that and the cable companies pay Rovi. Is that fair to say? Uh, that's certainly one of the things we do, but it's a lot more than that. I mean, basically, when I describe what Rovi does, we help people, whether it's through TVs or their cable companies or satellite companies, find what it is that they want to watch or listen to. And a lot of those were assets you purchased from Gemstar, the old Gemstar, which was the TV guide on air thing. Well, we purchased Gemstar to get a lot of the TV assets, the patents, and some of the guides. But we've been acquisitive all along the way. We bought AMG even before we bought Gemstar. That gave us a tremendous amount of information about movies and music and games. And then since that, we've bought technology companies. And more recently, we bought Sonic. That adds not only the guide, but the ability to deliver content over any of these devices. Right. Now, how is the Sonic acquisition going? We had Junior just when uh, the deal was just announced. Yep. What's the latest today? Today, well, today's going great. We're working, obviously, on integration. We're bringing the assets together. Now we have the ability not only to provide the opportunity to help people decide what it is they want to watch, but we have the ability to uh, give them the, the ability to watch it on these devices. So as we bring the companies together, we're actually now integrating the products. And, you know, you'll hear more on May 10th when we have our earnings call. And this has been a creative, it was, should be a creative as of when? Uh, immediately. Immediately, okay. Yep. Now, you guys have spent a lot of money doing acquisitions, as you mentioned. You spent yep. a lot of money in R&D. I was just looking over your financials. You spent $187 million in the last two years in R&D, in case you're wondering where all that money went. Where did all that money go? You've added just 25 patents in this time. Is there something new that we're not seeing in terms of new products that you're going to launch? You know, it seems like buying a company like Sonic, after you spend all that money in R&D, why would you just need to spend all that in R&D if you're buying other companies? Well, that's a good question. So first of all, when we talk about uh, R&D, right, look at our EBITDA overall. Our EBITDA margins last year were about 50%. That word's been banned from the show. Has it? But I'll say operating <laughs> profit. Okay, operating profit right. is in the 40s. Which, which is the profit right. a company turns with all of the junk right. like taxes and, and other things that come below the line. Take it all. We're over 40%. We have very, very strong profitability within yeah. the company. Uh, and we invest in creating new products. So if you look at Total Guide, just as one example, it's a revolutionary new way for people to find what it is that they want to watch. We have that in all sorts of devices. We announced a product that we're selling through the cable companies because primarily we are a B2B company. So we're selling that to the service providers so that they can offer an iPad application that has Total Guide on it. How many are using that though? I mean, you've got a product that you offer to the cable companies that are, you know, they're paying you license fees, but are they really using your software? Well, it, so. Over 100 million homes have our software embedded now. And as you know, from a service provider perspective, many of the issues associated with service providers is the legacy set-top boxes that are in there. So we have products that are going to be able to help the existing infrastructure that the service providers have, but also the new devices that are coming out. Whether you talk about the Sony Google TV or you talk about the Samsung TV, the media, the Smart Hub TV that's being uh, brought to market now, all has Rovi inside. Let me ask you really quickly, uh, Virgin, you guys lost a case against Virgin, you appealed. Yep. So uh, just to explain it. The Virgin cable system in the UK didn't want to pay the, what, what you guys said they owed you, and, and they won the case, you appealed, they won the appeal. Right. Doesn't that give other countries, other uh, cable operators the right to say, hey, you know what, Rovi, screw you, we're not going to pay you? Uh, sure, it could. And, and each country has their own rules and their own guidelines as it looks about patents. But during that same period of time that we were dealing with Virgin, we signed patent licensing deals and actually won cases in Italy, in Germany, and in the Netherlands. So what happens maybe in England uh, doesn't happen around the world. And even within the UK, we actually re-signed B Sky B, the largest cable provider in the UK, to a new license. All right, Fred, really glad you could join us. Thanks for joining us. Fred Amoroso, CEO of Rovi. Thanks, Gar.